Welcome to Millennial 2020 at the Truman Brewery in East London. Now, there are millions of companies in the West that would like to crack the East, particularly China, 1.4 billion consumers. Well, how easy is it to do it and uh, can it be done? Well, two people that can hopefully give me a couple of clues. Jonathan Smith, Andrew Chang from Hot Pot Digital. Why is the Chinese market, Jonathan, so important to Western brands? Um, well, by 2020, it's uh, scheduled to be over 60% of global e-commerce. So if you think about, about that, that's two out of three, pretty much, uh, of all dollars spent online will be done with a Chinese consumer, be they based in China or based overseas. So as a macro trend, that really sets where your, uh, where your marketing spend should be heading for the future. Uh, Andrew, there are lots of barriers, it seems, to get into China. So what can somebody like you do to help those brands? Yeah, so I think we have international background and we know China market as well, international market. So it's great for us to combine these two international experience together and help it to build a bridge. What are the barriers? I would say it's that Chinese consumers have their own features. It's quite different with the uh, international market. So we are basically a master for this. You think I might, might add to that is that um, often we think of, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about the differences in the marketplace and China is obviously very nuanced in terms of consumer preferences. Um, what we always do is bring out synergies with the brands that we work with and the aspirations of Chinese consumers. We know that there are hundreds of Chinese consumers that come to the UK mm -hmm. on their holidays, do an enormous amount of shopping. Does that help brands establish themselves in China? Absolutely. So, uh, you know, we work with the likes of Selfridges and other retailers here in the UK, and it's a very powerful way of targeting very switched on Chinese consumers. So um, if you think about a Chinese consumer traveling overseas once or twice a year, um, they're looking to shop. And actually 80% of Chinese tourists will say that shopping is a key uh, focus for them, actually, when they're picking the destination for travel. So that does two things. One, it's high average transaction values here in the UK, um, but also those people are then the mouthpiece for the brand uh, as they head back to China and say, I've been to Selfridges. Uh, and they're letting their friends and family know about it. So it's a crucial way of uh, both building brands here and, and within the Chinese market domestically. When I've spoken to big organizations like Mars, like GSK, they've been doing deals directly with the likes of Alibaba. Where do you fit in? So basically we are like uh, agents that we can help all, uh, all this third party to have a connection because the direct connection we have a language uh, advantage as well. So we can understand the approach and we can help them to communicate properly. What happens a lot of the time as well is it, it, those, uh, you know, the large platforms, Tmall, etc., within the Alibaba ecosystem, they're obviously huge and they have a huge amount of traffic. Um, what's really important and, and the way that we were set up was to be um, act like a local agency for the London or New York headquarters of that brand, but also be the experts within the market. So it's really important to have somebody that, that really understands your brand on a nuanced level. Uh, so when you're partnering with the big platforms, you make sure that you're benefiting from those numbers that Alibaba can bring, uh, but also that you're staying true to the core values of your brand. And that's really why, why we were set up as an agency. If you had a brand going to China and just say opened a shop, that's a one tiny little thing in a very, very large country with many, many people. How is something like the internet helping Western brands establish themselves and how do they get visibility out there? Um, it's a really important point actually to be targeted. So you've talked about 1.4 billion consumers, that's great, but how do you make sure you're reaching the right consumers? Um, if you look at tier two and tier three cities, uh, many of which have large populations of eight, 10 million, um, a lot of those consumers don't have access to flagship stores because brands aren't opening up there. So when uh, the digital ecosystem comes in, it connects it all together. So it's really important, A, to, to play to the strengths of those platforms in reaching consumers outside of Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, the tier one cities, um, but additionally being targeted with your spend. So your marketing spend for the UK might not go very far if you're looking at the China market as a whole, but if you focus on a Shanghai or a Beijing and being very targeted with how you uh, deliver that spend, it allows you to benefit in a certain uh, area uh, to deliver ROI and then make sure that you can expand out to have a kind of pan-China strategy. Hello, I'm James Wright. Thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Life channel at the bottom of the screen.